Developing news right now at 6, we are looking deeper into two shootings involving the police in 12 hours, one in Wallingford and the other in Hartford. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Mark Sinney. And I'm Erin Connolly. Two very different responses when it comes to transparency about what exactly happened. Chief Investigative Reporter Sam Smink gets into why that may be. Around 2.50 a.m. Monday morning, there was a shooting at 132 North Airline Road in Wallingford. We know it was a shooting that involved a police officer. More than 24 hours later, that's still all we know. We were told by Wallingford police they were instructed to refer all questions to the Office of Inspector General, saying they, quote, recognize this can be frustrating for many who simply want to know important, simple details, like if anyone is hurt or deceased. Around 12 hours later, a Hartford police officer shot and killed a man during a shootout. Hartford Mayor Luke Bronin released this photo taken from a city camera. It shows the Hartford police officer and unidentified man, both with guns in their hands, exchanging fire. Mayor Bronin confirmed the man died after he was shot by the officer. Bronin said in a press conference the man's car was pulled over after a 911 call reported suspicious people who appeared to be armed and threatening people. Cruiser pulls the vehicle over, uh, and before the officer exits the vehicle, an individual gets out of the passenger side of the vehicle and begins walking walking toward the back of the vehicle and then as the officer approaches the vehicle you can see in the video this individual raises his arm with a handgun in it and appears to fire at the officer there's an exchange of gunfire when there is a shooting involving a police officer in Connecticut the office of the inspector general is in charge of investigating it was an office created out of the police accountability bill state law says any recordings from body cameras and dashboard cameras must generally be released by the IG's office within two to four days of the incident but a spokesperson says the office generally seeks to make disclosure as soon as it reasonably can, often much earlier than the statutory maximum period. There is nothing in state statute that prevents city or town officials from speaking about the preliminary investigation, as we saw yesterday in Hartford. However, Hartford police say they are limited in information moving forward. Reporting in the studio, Sam Smink, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.